Greetings, I am Lies. And I am Scandal. And, and let's, let's play a game together. together. Yay! Deja vu. Ah, uh, it's all right. All right. Welcome back, everybody. We are excited to be doing this series. And honestly, we've been very excited by the positive response we have had to this series. And it's been super cool. Yes, all right. absolutely. <clears throat> Natsuki, I I can't do this. Oh my god, my oh, friends honey, been talking. What are you talking. I know, about? I know. Um, Natsuki, oh my god. <laughs> Y'all can certainly have a big mouth for someone who keeps her manga collection in the club room. <laughs> <gasps> oh my god, that is the best mix. That you're like, I got a. <laughs> yeah, quite. <laughs> <do> it. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I'll get there. Let's keep going. We can do it. Uh, <laughs> Natsuki finds herself stuck between saying Monica and manga. Like, I could completely read minds and I know exactly where her lips are going, so it's gonna go manganga. <laughs> but I thought she Monica. was gonna say Molly. <laughs> I accept at the same time, Molly would be way more apt in this case, because wow, Monica, like, you are being such a bitch. You are the club mom. It's you are fine. club mom. You're a club mom bitch. Bye. Here we go. Manga is literature. <gasps> You okay. are correct! Oh my god, I actually completely forgot about that. But the thing is, is like, are you sure? So like, actually, it's also not. So we went and looked uh, up literature just for the sake of snobbery. Because yes. Because this, this isn't, you know, like the book club or a yeah. writing club. This is a literature club. Literature. It's a literature club. And so we went and looked it up and going like the actual definition of literature is way more snobby, specifically pertaining to like impactful works, especially and specifically uh -huh. books and things that have meaning throughout time. Uh -huh. And so we're like, according to the definition of literature, most written word is not literature literature at all. And it's not like it all hasn't been super whitewashed or appropriated or anything. Oh, that I, never happens. I never. Guess. That sounds made up. Actually, that's one of the things that's always frustrated me a lot about like the art world in regards to where they go, this is the art. And you're like, you guys, we don't even, so I'm talking specifically about the United States. Mm -hmm. Whereas somebody where I studied, you know, art, one of the things that I found to be the most frustrating was we really didn't look at other countries at all outside of like Italy and various parts of Europe. And it was really very specific parts of Europe. Like you really yeah. didn't look at like people from Iran you didn't look so, at people from you know Turkey we didn't look at those kinds of art even though they've mm -hmm. talked about how for example like other countries came up with even in just in mathematics they came up with the the idea of the value of zero far before they did in, in other parts of Europe you know that we like crediting them say, going, oh they are so much smarter and it's like you have no idea what people have come up with over the years so basically there's a, there's a lot of basically white specific history uh -huh. in a lot of the things that us Americans have been exposed to to as far as this is the history of the world. This is, and it is the history of the world. Told by the white people you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's totally accurate as well. Tell. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So um, manga is literature. Uh, manga is swiftly defeated. Natsuki plops down into her seat and it sounds incredibly moist. And then I realized that she is dead inside and all of it is slowly leaking out. <gasps> Back into her seat. Onto the chair. The existentialism just, just seeps. Seeping out. Uh, don't, don't worry about that, um, guys. She'll, she'll be just fine. Oh um, my God. We have, my we have my lots God. of, like, you know, self-identity towels available for for everyone in the club. My manga has been dust on. I am pest. Oh, Splat always gives it their best as long as they're having fun. Um, Because whenever they are having fun, they will do really nice things for people. And when they are having fun, they will really help out. And we just we just need to keep Splat having fun. And then we will all have a really nice time with them. God, that is dark as fuck. That is so specific. No. And like, that is one of those things of going, so if Splat, and let's just look at the, the actual words used here. Rather right. than our character interpretation. So Splat, Splat always, always gives, gives his best as long as he's having fun. So if he is not having fun, if he's not enjoying himself, if he isn't doesn't feel the situation is serving him emotionally, it isn't you know, yeah, entertaining to him and he's not having fun, he doesn't give his best. Uh -huh. Is what that implies. Now it doesn't specifically say that his best isn't available at other times, so that can also be room for that, but it is there is this really strong qualifier of when he's having fun. And only then, which means that you really are gonna have to play to him. 
a lot, which honestly, considering the model of most visual novels, novels or basically otome games, which mm-hmm. is what this is, as far as I understand, Doki Doki literature Modeled sort, after. Of, parody, yeah, sort yeah. of parodies, um, that's scary. Like, that is genuinely a level of, like, awareness of going, people really do write stories where these random characters that you really don't know, for some freaking reason, that they become incredibly obsessed with you or slash your main character. Right, and they all had their own private lives and grew up to the point of where they exist now, theoretically, in canon, and uh, then they're suddenly, everything they do revolves around or centers around you. And sometimes there's a clear contrivance for it, such as, we're all dragon princes and we're coming here to marry you because that's what we've been, you know, decided to do and that's how everything works and we all fulfill the pact and you know that's what's going on uh-huh. uh, say, or it doesn't really have a lot of explanations such as I've been randomly hired to investigate you for the duchess and or countess sorry uh-huh. and, and then they go you chose me I've literally been investigating you as my job the whole time. I can't believe you, you chose me. Oh my god! Like, yeah! It's really important that you, like, pick me. I literally you did. had you picked for me on a job that I was assigned by our ruling body. And I literally just clicked a button. It's I fine. don't know what that means. It's fine. Oh, what? I did Also, oh. there's the thing that always bothers me in regards to those stories, too, that it's like, regardless of whatever, basically, background life you have, and whatever your character does, you never lose, basically. You're never rude enough. You're never cruel enough. You're never, basically, absent-minded enough or thoughtless enough. Or, or... just not connected. Uh, one of the things we've discussed before is that in dating games directed towards girls, it doesn't seem like you can ever fail. Yes. You will always get to date and have a happy ending with the character of your choice. And we know that's not necessarily going to be the case in all games but what we've been exposed to so far in the app store that is the case you yes. can not have a negative consequence yeah <clears throat> he helps me with busy work without me even asking all around Hi. the classroom and like with you know um cleaning things up because you know in japanese schools you always have to like have somebody stay behind that does like the erasers and or has classroom cleaning duty which is something that doesn't really happen so much in america at least you know lies isn't familiar with it whoever that is um <laughs> and so you know um splat is super helpful when splat just really wants to leave the building because i've asked them to walk me home and um they're trying to to get my chores done but sooner but i that we really weren't involved with Sam. I mean, yeah, well, and that's what I was going like, to say, so I don't know. That doesn't make any sense. Like, I guess we I have don't... some classes together, and so we help when well, the... Sh- oh, no, we go to her house. Wait, what? We what? are at her house sometimes. Especially after this character being a jerk and going, oh my god, she won't wake up. We haven't been spending time to sh- with We're each other at all. We're barely friends. Do, are we roommates? And oh they god. were roommates. Really? Like, do we live in the same house with Sayori? And it's like, we know a... she's not waking up because we can walk past her room? I don't know. Are, That's really... Sorry, like, go ahead. Like, cooking and cleaning my room. And whenever oh they're god. over, they just they just help me with all the things. And or they might live there. But Canon hasn't told you, so I don't know either. And um, so, so maybe I'm referring to a great deal in the past, like when we were really young. And I'm just trying to, like, talk Splat up so you'll all be interested more in having them here. And, um, yeah, those, those kinds of, of things. I... How dependable. Also seems I... really wildly intimate and extremely ex- expose-oriented. Like, going, please, I'm going to try to, you know, make this sound great and awesome and spectacular and... But going, you clearly do chores in your house and domestic activities together. Sayori sounds depressed as fuck. That does. Like, your room is really a mess. But oh also, my like, God. that sounds a little bit wild of going, We, I had no idea from what they had told me on screen so far that you would have even been in each other's house in any way recently at all. Yeah, it's a little wild. I... Dependable. Uh, uh, Sayori, that's because whoa. you're so messy, it's distracting. I can see it from my room. I can't get anything done. It messes with my zen qua. Uh, <laughs> like you my need to... zen say qua? Zen uh, say qua. <laughs> <laughs> A certain level of zen say qua. Which is what Everybody you need to make Everybody splat. Like, when the fuck did you start using language like that? Uh, I started taking a Duolingo class, and I have never regretted it. Basically, I looked up popular sayings in, like, uh, you know, in other languages oh. that carry over. You know. And just started reading them. You know what that reminds me of? Well, so this is, this is again, not to bag on anybody who does it. I've found it to actually be kind of, like, I'm sort of sad, mm-hmm. but I've heard about people going, I have specifically looked up important sayings or oh, specific things yeah. so that I sound interesting. And relevant. And relevant. And I'm like, that is... 
person. Are you okay? You sound very disconnected. Why are so many people like so desperate basically to just not be seen as lacking? So what I have to say is that in my opinion, American culture doesn't have much of a society in that we're not connected to each other socially despite our social media because we don't know a lot of the societal standards, rules, and can and stuff. And we have so many microcultures that none of us even really are aware of them. And a lot of times when we encounter meme culture or new language filters from the bottom up to the white yeah. middle upper class, we have no idea where it's come from or where the origins are because we really are that disconnected. One of the things that I mentioned in reference to coronavirus, which may sound dated in the future, but who knows, um, is that you've got this strong experience of parts of society breaking down because um, they never really were very stable, but nobody was, you know, really had to notice when the machine could just keep running. But then once everybody went home, you really, the pro once all the problems were basically ratcheted up to max, instead of being minor things, it became very, very clear that we don't have systems in place. We don't know who each other are. We don't know how to do a lot of things. And we really have very little connection to each other on many different levels of, you know, like echelon crust kind of thing. Yeah. And that you're, when your levels are that <clears throat> separate from each other, you know, it, it really is profound how distant people are from each other and going I want to be part of this other piece of culture that I feel attracted to or drawn to or I have been had pitched to me in a way that it means it's meaningful or important and the only way I know to do that is to try and speak like they speak yeah and it's that whole act like who you want to be but you can't it's very very hard to find context mm -hmm. because you're not a piece of that part of culture yeah. yeah there's a lot of cultural appropriation I think sometimes it goes on in the United States simply because people are like I'm trying to basically belong to something because otherwise I don't have anything mm -hmm. and that's a weird thing to say out loud um, but it really like some people go oh white people have so much culture we'll explain apple pies and burgers and blah 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 and football you know and whatever else and I'm going like a lot of there's actually a lot of people also though who very strongly don't identify with that and the fact that a lot of people think that that is the culture of the United States is very frustrating with some people myself included going like but that's not who I am and it's annoying to literally have everyone else go but it's all focused around that you all watch the sports games and you do all these things and I'm like but I don't do but any we don't of that all do that in the same yeah. way that other countries and cultures don't all do anything and anytime someone writes a fictional book and says all fill in the blank society all do fill in the blank it's uh -huh. like there's no way no they're... unless it's like they all breathe right like if you're like every one of them styles their hair in the specific way when they're this specific age and you're like and there's never been a rebellious confused disorganized late or just you know out of touch child or person ever or period. they don't have 90 million actually different hairstyles for that sort of crap too. or no like, but that's what i mean like if they just go all of them all wear their hair in this specific way uh -huh. and that's my fictional culture and you go and no one ever didn't have the proper hair care tools or you know mm -hmm. just didn't have time that day or they just were was poor. or were poor or were resistant to it yeah. i don't like that like everyone is completely unified nobody went well i'll style mine a little bit different because i'm an individual right yep they all wear these school uniforms and no one you know wears their socks higher lower looser or tighter shines their shoes differently puts on flare or stickers or actually goes home and then tailors their uniform to them nope uh -huh. no one does that so nope, they're all no, the no. same and i'm like that's never gonna happen yeah people are different all right that's your, so, so distracting, distracting. And you almost set your house on fire once! Oh I, my god, I was right there and like your bacon was burning. Well, from what you say right now, it really sounds like maybe I just sort of live alone and my parents, you know, they disappeared, you know, um, a year or so back and just I'm trying really hard to keep a hold on the house and not let anyone know. But between, you know, my three extra part-time jobs and my resale business online and stuff like that, I just sometimes forget about the rooms and the house and sometimes I'm so overwhelmed and disorganized that I just leave the stove on and I forget and oh i'm sorry you look bored i'm probably oversharing i don't mean to burden you with my problems um oh my god sayori you're uh, making this all about you why do you I, always do this you always make it all about you all the time you're right i'm i'm really sorry about that um is that so uh, uh, right you two are really good friends aren't you like digging on each other so hard in public or at least you know you on um sayori that's really personal and very intense i don't know if i have any friends that are so close to me that they would just actively shame me in public ah they must be friends and or family because they are going after each other and that's okay god i hate that culture bit mm. in the united states it's so frustrating yep yeah we just also talk about that in reference to the nuclear family and heteronormative Normative fandom yeah. Normativity. It's okay. It's fine. I might be a little jealous given that I've never had a single friend that would just shame or abuse me verbally in public. That sounds so close. So intimate. So 
comfortable. Personal. Uh, how come? I mean, how come you're jealous? Um, you and Splat can become good friends too, you know? You could totally get to know each other, and then Splat could totally judge your personal choices as well, and it could be a lot of fun. And if they are having fun, they will totally help you with things as well if any of your life is having, you know, challenges. That seems really, like, freaking weird, though. Like, oh my god, why do none of these people have friends? I, I mean, you totally have, uh, um... We totally just obligated Splat to be friends with Yuri. Uh -huh. We just were like, you can also have this. Splat standing there going, wait. What? I've already been obligated to a literature club, so. Sayori, oh my god. You just freaking do not think about anything that you are saying. Uh -huh. Oh my god. As usual, Sayori seems oblivious to the weird situation she just put me in. And weird oh. is an understatement. Like, oh my fucking god. Do you just not think about anything? actually aware that she did just obligate Splat to something weird, to something else of going, I've just told this other person they have permission to be friends with you. Which is actually really strange sometimes, and you realize sometimes how much people will do that. Like, I've caught myself doing it once in a while because you're going, no, no, but that's the polite thing to do. You don't give people a flat out yes or no. You go, oh, this could totally work out. You're gonna be like, it might be a thing or it's a possibility, but mm -hmm. I don't know. Like, you don't say no and I just did it recently which is why it's fresh on my mind because uh, I'm like eh. I said that very submissive polite thing that is taught to people who are identified female at birth where you don't really say no you say maybe or possibly or that what a good idea I'll think about it yeah and guess what I did I did like all four of those <laughs> it's fine it's okay we learn Hi. as we go <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 uh, Yuri even brought you something today, you know, um, because yesterday there was cupcakes and they went over, you know, only sort of well because you vomited, you know, all over the place, except for, you know, you got out of the room first, but, you know, it was fine. Um, and then today, uh, Yuri brought you something and I don't know if she's brave enough to tell you, and since I had my foot in my mouth already, I'm just going to shove it in farther, okay? I... Oh, wait, wait, Sayori. Eh, me? Oh uh, my god, this is getting more and more awkward by the minute. Like, Sayori, what? with her own foot, just starts harking it down like a snake. If, if uh, I can't, you know, fix what I said to you, I'll just shove it down farther by talking about someone else. It's fine. Or it could also be a misinterpretation of something that Yuri actually got uh -huh. that wasn't specifically for us, which it's is true. an even more awkward thing where people just assume because they're trying to basically people please or trying to make sure everybody gets along so well. Uh -huh. You just go, this thing that I saw, and you're like, well, also, you don't even know what they're going to do with that. And there's also some level of, of redirection of, oh, I know about this other thing, let me just redirect. Mm -hmm. I was like, that's very charming, but I'm like, you are kind of a disaster, Sayori. Like, you have the best of intentions, and I want good things for you, but I feel, I feel for you. The, like, the, 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 like, awkwardness is strong. The neurodivergence, like, like, awkward baby is there, uh, it seems. Not really. I only brought you my favorite current horror book to share it with you, but I didn't want to say anything because I don't know if you like horror. I mean, I'm just making stuff up. Um, uh, don't be shy. It's really nothing. I just wrote seven poems instead of one, and the other six are about you because I was very inspired by your appearance yesterday. I, I'm just going to make up a different thing every uh -huh. single time. I, I, it's a thing. Huh. What is it? Huh. Like, I'm just sort of sitting here going... Oh my god, what? Well, I'm, I'm sorry, Please. I just, you know, you really liked the baked goods yesterday, so I just baked you something myself. I'm just gonna say no uh -huh. different things. I'm gonna Maybe do something it. Else. Uh, no, it's not baked goods either. I just, you know what, I really, I really didn't even bring anything at all. I just, uh, n never mind. I. Sayori made it sound like a big deal when it's really not. It was just me, you know, wanting to give you my entire life story in a really thoughtfully created and, you know, um, custom tailored scrapbook that I made for you last night. Um, so it's not really, it, she's kind of played it up too much now, and I, I just don't think that it's gonna work now. Uh, what do I do? Eh? I I'm sorry, Yuri. I wasn't thinking. I guess that means it's up to me to rescue the situation, but guess what? We're going to have to do so in the next one. Hey, so thank you very much, guys, for joining us. If you like what we do, please feel free to, I guess, like, comment, and subscribe, and tell everybody that I sent you, and that is Splat, and it's S-P-L-A-T, <sighs> and it's really important that you get that right, and it's very important, okay? This will be on a test. Uh -huh. Alright, so 
<laughs> Other than that, though, if you want to also support this weird ass channel, I suppose you can go ahead and go down to the Ko fi or the Patreon. There are some links in the description. Oh, yeah. And other than that, I have been scandal. <laughs> and uh, it, is, it has been so much fun doing this series so far. <laughs> and it just, we appreciate all of you being here. And I have been Lies. And, and it, it was, was great, great playing, playing with you. you. Bye! Bye.